How's it going everyone? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. So, work finally finished. I'm here. Uh, video is ready made for the free to play guide for the Mickey and Broom, the Fantasia Mickey B, the Super Quest, whatever it is. I do have a video that's ready made. I just got to upload it, render it, all that good stuff. So that will be out after this video. So don't worry too much about that. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already passed it. If you didn't, hopefully those tips help you. I, I'm not 100% on it yet. I do like what I put out, but I always want to do more. So I'll figure out more as I go. But that video should be right after this video, hopefully, if everything goes right. But for this, let's talk about the avatar board that came out, which is right here. Orchestra Mickey and obviously Orchestra Mickey female version. So we got the two avatar boards, which are pretty good. Let me just go look in the notices if there's anything else. Um, that's the tent. That's all that's going on. Let's see if there's something that's still... If you guys remember, the Jack Sparrow one ended at a funny time, but I thought it was just because it was a limited edition one, and that's probably why. It should say down here somewhere, I'll belt the avatar, select avatar. Once purchased, these boards, avatars will remain unlocked for you even after the campaign. So, Jack Sparrow one was just a limited edition. They wanted to put it out and then have it done and over with after that event. It was just one of those, you know, movies coming out, go watch a movie, here's a little something... You know, a big sponsor, whatever it is. I don't know. Anyways, it was just for that board. These boards are safe. Your other boards are safe. It was just those boards that say limited time. Whew. Mouthful. I don't know why. Not really mouthful. I feel like I lost some wind there. <laughs> Anyways. So, what's in this board? Um, This reminds me of my really old video. The, the what was it? The video where I, I, I have... Uh, Scrooge jumping into a pile of money. That's my thumbnail and I'm like calling out all free-to-play players. These remind me of those Boards, I forget what it was called, but it kind of had the same thing. It had the whole Red tail thing. I can't, I'm lost for words today. I can't think of anything. Anyways, it looks similar to this It looks very similar to this and it just brings back good memories of when I first started YouTube So what's in these boards attack boost 3 Lux plus the uh, Attack boost 3 max and SP gauge 1, yeah, and defense boost 3, you guys don't understand, later on high score challenges are going to really change and defense boost is going to need, not even change, Um, there's going to be certain times where you need like a keyblade full defense boost and that's really good. Also defense boost 3, the Fantasia Mickey B event, it's really good to have as well if you guys are having issues or you don't have your own defense boost 2s ready and stocked up, here are some defense boosts. But these boards, I always recommend these boards. If anything, guys, you can pull as much as you want, but if you don't have skills or you don't have gems to upgrade your keyblades, you don't have power. If your keyblades are below level 25 or below level 30 for the Divine Rose, you're missing out on a lot of power. And speed gems, guys, are valuable, super valuable. Especially if you're not competitive in Lux ranking, then these are the best ways to get these gems. Two gems, 5,000 jewels, a bunch of good skills, and you also get some skill perks, some perks. Watch, these perks are not, nah, they're not that great. Again, you have to be a Lux Farmer. If for Lux Farming, it's good. It's gloves. I can't complain about that. Magic Mirrors, always welcome. That's eight if you buy both boards. But the whole point is basically the Speed Gem and these skills. These are actually really good. I know that Attack Boost 4 is out already. So again, this could be just one of those, here you go. Here's some little older stuff here. Let's mix it up with some SP gauges, attack boost, Lux pluses, and then we'll start bringing in attack boost for max. Yes, that's a thing, but which makes this, if this was just an attack boost three max, I would say, wait a second guys, think about it. Attack boost four is coming, attack four is max, but because it's attack boost three max and SP gauge one, attack boost three and attack boost four is not that far off. You can still get away with using attack boost three. It's still a good skill. Even though we have Attack Boost 4, don't think that Attack Boost 3 is useless. Attack Boost 3 is still very good, just like Defense Boost 3. It's still a very good um, Attack Boost. It's not going to be useless. Even Attack Boost 2 does some damage. But the whole point is that there's some metals that are really expensive to use. And putting Attack Boost 3 Max and SP Gauge 1 is absolutely amazing. And will change some of your decks completely. You don't have to use Kyrie for certain uh, events or certain quests, and you can actually add better buffers, like using a metal that says times three buff by attributes instead of using Kairos for one up, one down. If you have extra attack on that times three, you're gonna have a better spot there because you don't need as much SP, so you don't need Kyrie to restore your SP. So using SP gauge one on like a Zigbar or Zaldin B or something that has a lot of, anything that's above four is really good for SP gauge. 
because anything from three and down is manageable. Three cost, two cost, one cost, easily to, to manage. Anything that's four, five, or six, that's really hard to manage on a Keyblade, especially if you have another metal that does three or four right before it and not with your Kyrie in the way to restore the SP. So I would say buy one board because again, Attack Boost 4 should be coming out. We should be seeing Attack Boost 4 Max, but I don't know how soon we'll see Attack Boost 4 Max SP Gauge. Because uh, I believe right now in the quest, if we go back to Coliseum, Coliseum has, what is it, Attack Boost 4 Max? Is it just a 4 Max or is it a Gauge? Re I don't know. Let me go check before I start just random talking here. It's Attack Boost 4 Max. So as you guys can see, Attack Boost 4 Max is being handed out. Meaning we'll see Attack Boost 4's maxes in Avatar boards very soon after this Coliseum. So there's still 20 days we gotta wait for an Attack Boost 4 Max. Because they're not gonna release the Attack Boost 4 Max in an Avatar board before the Coliseum's over. Because that's just pointless. There's no point in comp competing. And if you're not competing, you're not polling. So they're not gonna hurt themselves. So they're not gonna have Attack Boost 4 Max for another month so you're still safe using these attack boost 3 maxes but if you don't need the sp gauge down one and you're satisfied with attack boost 3 maxes you guys already have that's great but taking consideration that we might have a high score challenge on monday monday and attack boost 3 maxes are they're essential you can't get the best score possible without using a max skill if you don't have a max skill you're not getting the best score possible you're not making top 5000 so take that into consideration um my account on both my accounts, I skipped out on a lot of avatar boards because I was broke because of nominee. And also this account, I'm a little more safe of what I do. I play the very smart game with this. So I did skip out on some avatar boards, but definitely for my main account, I'm going to get these boards because one, speed gems. I want to start upgrading other keyblades like Sleeping Line since I do have Halloween Sora and KDG, stuff like that. That Keyblade does need a little love. I'm not sure if that's going to be the one I'm going to carry to like 30 or 35 or which is higher now. So that too, guys. Gems. Gems are so valuable. Like if you don't have gems, you don't have a strong Keyblade, you can't compete. Now, that's com competition wise. For High Score Challenge and Coliseum, you guys need Keyblades that are 30 plus. But for events, Story mode, proud mode, you don't need Keyblades past level 25. You can get away with just using the Keyblade at level 20 to 25 easily. But if you want to compete in high score challenges and in the Coliseum, then you need these gems. Because again, my free to play account, I make top 5000 even without having a level 30 Divine Rose. My Divine Rose is level 28 and that's my strongest Keyblade. All my other Keyblades are 25, 20 and so on. So if you're not trying to do Coliseum and trying to be like top 1000, you guys don't even need that many gems. You don't. All you need is like a one keyblade at level 30 and you're safe. But that's only now. Later on, you're going to need to upgrade these keyblades. So stocking up as much as you can is very important. But you also got to balance it towards your poles. Like if something really good comes out and you're like close on gems. So let's say you have 10,000 jewels and there might be a mercy pole sometime soon for the 0.2 Kyrie. Spending 5,000 jewels here really pushes you back. So you got to realize how much skills do I actually need compared to what I'm polling? So if you're not polling like five or ten times a month, then you don't need both boards. If you're only polling like once a month or twice a month, or you already have a good keyblade set up that, that have skills on them already, then you probably only need like one board just in case you pull something good or get lucky somewhere. You don't need a whole bunch because if you guys look in my metal list, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice for some reason today. Today's a bad day, but let me just click all these and then I'll click experience to show you guys that they add up and I don't use them because I don't need them. I don't pull often enough on this account to use all these skills. So skills end up piling up and just get wasted because then a defense boost four comes out and I no longer use my defense boost threes. That's a lie, but uh, attack boost twos. Like I probably have a ton of attack boost twos sitting here. There we go. Attack boost two. Attack boost 2, this is what I mean. If you guys stock up too much, you end up wasting jewels that turn out to just nothing. But again, these avatar boards actually have gems. They have magic mirrors. They have cool costumes. Even though we can't wear the costumes we want because skill perk is the only thing we want to use. And it's their skill perk is only on certain avatar. So I don't want to get into that. But yeah, cool costumes. 
good skills, but again, if you overstock on skills, it's bad, but everything else about them, chip dales, magic mirrors, titles, speed gems, power gems, magic gems, avatar boards are really good, even without the skills. Even without the skills, they're still really good. They, they stock up on stuff you guys really, really need. But, do you guys want to get this? Again, do you have attack boost 3 max sitting in your inventory? Is, are you having problems with SP? If the answer is yes and no, <laughs> Yes, you have Attack Boost 3 Max sitting in your inventory already, and no, you're not having a problem with SP, then you can skip out on this. But Defense Boost 3 is really good. Um, all this is really good. I would say get at least one board and play it safe. You guys can use your Attack Boost 3 Max on anything you want right away. Like, let's go to my metal list and see what I actually need. So, let's go to gauges. Metals that cost four, five, six plus. So choices, Hercules and Phil. If I didn't have Attack Boost 3 Max, I would definitely use Attack Boost 3 Max XP Gauge on there because I use him a lot on my free to play account. If this was my main account, I wouldn't do that. So it all depends on what medals you guys have. But then you got medals like Lexius B over here. Attack Boost 3 Max with uh, SP Gauge 1 is really good because that, that, that five cost right there is incredibly expensive. Not as much as Zigbar, but it's expensive. Again, Zaldin B, really good high score challenge medal. So if you don't have Attack Boost 3 Max on your Zaldin B yet, and it's guilted, and he's your main damage dealer for high score challenges, which he should be for a lot of people, put Attack Boost 3 Max and SP Gauge 1. Your gameplay will change, like, the setups you guys can use for high score challenge. If you check my last high score challenge, I actually put Attack Boost 3 Max and SP Gauge on him, and I could make better setups without relying on Kyries or APPs. Because my medals cost so little, I was golden. So you guys have lots of choices. There's so many choices. Also, you guys get medals where you want to just use them for buffing or you have extra attack. You guys want to put something with SP gauge on there, but not attack boost 3 max, obviously. But for attack boost 3 max, is any big heavy hitters like you guys see up here, these organization members, Maleficent B is a good choice too because she's super strong, but she costs 5. And if you have extra attack on her, like me, you're kind of screwed because that's 10 SP, but if we put that attack boost 3 max and SP gauge 1, she's 2 SP for all that power. So, that's what I got to say about those avatar boards. Really good. Um, as a quest, guys, I told you the Fantasia Mickey B will be right after this video. I did complete everything. The only thing I got to do on this account is actually level up my treasure trove because it's too low. But everything else was a cakewalk. It was a cakewalk for my free-to-play account, and I'll show you guys in the next video. It should have been the video before, but I worked 11 hours today, and I didn't have a chance to upload it. I'm very sorry. I'm a little late, but there's 12 days left, so I'll get there. Either way, guys, um, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Let's see what they give us. Oh my god! There's a magic broom. There's our first magic broom right there, guys. Let me just go into this real quick. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's great to see magic brooms because if magic brooms and Fantasia Mickey Bees are part of quest, that means Coliseum next month should start having them as rewards. And if they don't, I'm going to be like, what the hell's going on? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, Allah. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. What? I, I done goofed. I done. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. If I can take these guys out, I'm good. Um, Tap one here. Tap one here. And then use Kyrie. Is Kyrie enough for this? No. But it didn't kill. Well, that's right. Okay, yeah, that's right. Because I only tapped those two and they already had some damage on them. So that worked out. That was good. I just want to see how many magic brooms. I'm pretty sure it's just one magic broom, but, you know, I'm curious. I'm super curious. So if they add more magic brooms by the time this ends, it's only here for like four or five days. We might be able to get a Fantasia Mickey B off these. I'm hoping that like the next ones will actually have like Magic Broom, Magic Broom, Magic Broom as a reward instead of the skip tickets and all that. But we'll see. Um, skip tickets, 3, 20 jewels. Again, 20 jewels just seem kind of like, uh, 100 jewels would have been nice. 300 jewels per day would have been nice. But again, they gave us 3,000 jewels for 6 million downloads and then they gave us extra. But, oh, my account's first Magic Broom. That's my first Magic Broom. Um, that'll go in my album, real nice, and in my collection. So, eventually they'll add up. Eventually they'll be in high score challenges, I think. I can't remember. But eventually they'll be in more events, they'll be in the Coliseum, they'll be part of some ranking. So, we're going to be able to add up real quick, guys. So, don't worry, the game's changing for something better. Um, again, I'll help you with this quest as much as I can to help you get that Fantasia Mickey B. It's sitting there, it's free, it's hard. 
which is good. This is the content I'm looking for. Something that challenges me and makes me want to play. Like when I play proud mode on my main account, I literally have like one or two medals that complete the whole thing and it's very boring. There's no challenge to it. So I, I was happy to see a challenge. I know it really sucks for a lot of players who are new, but this isn't the only time they're going to do this. They're going to do this again. Mickey, Fantasia Mickey B's are going to become common. Not like common like, oh, I can guilt every medal, but it'll become a thing in the game and eventually you'll get it. Just like saying to someone, if you start now, you'll never have Fantasia Mickey B's. That's not true. If you start now or later, everyone's going to have eventually the same kind of treatment, the same kind of events. They're going to get the same kind of medals. Some people will get better for rankings, but in the end, everybody will get something that will help them compete in the game or at least pass the quest and events that come out. So don't worry too much. If you miss out on this one, there will be others. Whew. Okay, so I think that's everything. Um, I'm pretty sure I cover as much as I need to. Um, there's some people talking about that JP got that orchestra medal for free. There's still a chance we might get it. Even if we don't get it, it's not that crazy good of a medal. But it would be nice just to have a little medal, a little here you go. Um, there's a big event going on. A lot of people don't know, but we do have this orchestra medal, so enjoy. We might still get it, so there's no reason to talk about it yet. So let's just see what happens, guys. But that's it for this video. I hope I covered everything. Um, let me know if you're going to buy the avatar boards or not. I'm actually curious of why you want to buy the avatar board and see if you guys are making good decisions. Now, there's no wrong decision when it comes to an avatar board. Buying an avatar board means you have skills, means you have gems, means you have magic mirrors. It's always a good buy. You can never go wrong with buying an avatar board. You just got to make sure you're not overstocked on skills already because then that's just wasted jewels, especially since skills are always getting better and better and better. So if you're not stuck, then don't buy. But if you don't have any skills already for your next medal that you might guilt or you might get, then buy an avatar board because attack boost 3 max is not bad. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll see you in the next one.